Here's a dilemma that a lot of film fans face. So your friends will see a movie that you're interested in before you do. They will tell you it's terrible. Now in the past, they've done this, and sometimes they're right, and sometimes they're wrong. And you always wish there was some kind of surefire ratings or surefire person to go to that like 100% of the time they're going to match up with you absolutely and you'd never ever have to watch a movie you didn't like again. But I'll tell you man, there's been so many movies that I've watched that everyone hates and yes, you could throw in the whole, oh, well, expectations. If you go in with no expectations, you're going to come out thinking the movie's better. That's a different topic, and that's a different argument. I'm talking about my enjoyment level towards the film, you know, as it applies. So I sit there, and I watch these movies that my friends say no to, and I'm like, oh, I should have listened. I should have listened. But then other times, I'm like, I loved this. What the fuck are they talking about? And you never know what to do. And I don't have all the time. I can't watch every movie. So it's very frustrating. And I guess you just kind of got to go with your gut. I woke up this morning and I threw on Body at Brighton Rock because everyone said it was terrible or it was bad. And I was just laying in bed and it was easily accessible on Hulu right there. I have like eight more movies in 2019 in the horror genre that I wanted to finish. All of them are rentals, every single one of them. This is the only one that's left for free, you know, for my Hulu account. So I woke up and I was just like, screw it. And I threw it on and man, this is, and this sucks too, because this is one of those instances where they were absolutely correct. This movie is dumb. This movie is not worth your time. Absolutely. But it sucks because then you get in that mindset and then the next time your friends tell you to check some, not to check something out, you miss out on something you would have loved. So it's, it's like you've just got to roll the dice. There are movies, I guess, every once in a while where people are like overwhelmingly, there's been movies in the past where everybody was so overwhelmingly negative on it that I just was like, "Mm," you know, like the new Fantastic Four movie that was, that was came out pretty recently, stuff like that, where I was just like, you know, I have not heard a single good thing from literally any person, (laughs) and that's a rarity, so we're usually not across the board against certain movies, so I can go off of that, but friends have been wrong in the past, they're not wrong on this one, so anyways, um, this is about a young girl who goes uh, to work, she is part of the forest rangers and she covers for her friend on this trail and this trail is outside of her pay grade she's she's not supposed to be out there she's not properly trained for it but she has it uh that she's she's determined to prove her friends prove to her friends that she is capable of taking on this task Um, So she goes out there, she gets herself lost, and while she's lost, she finds a body at Brighton Rock. And so uh, she has to call in, say the body's there, and they tell her, you're going to have to spend the night out there because we're not going to be able to get a team out there. You need to make sure that the, the, the crime scene, essentially, whatever it may be, is preserved, that nobody disturbs it, that you can lead us to the body, you got to stay where you are. And so she does, and while she's out there, um, she thinks something might be stalking her. Uh, Now, when the movie started, I was like 10 minutes in, and it's pretty quirky. The girl is, uh, is very cute, and she's dancing around. She's late for work, and she's running. And it kind of is playing out like an 80s high school comedy. And then she she comes, and she talks to her friends, and she interacts with them, and they don't really think much of her in the way of her work ethic and her abilities. They're friends with her and they like her, so it's nothing against her personally. It's just about how she is able to function as a member of their team. And so she wants to prove herself, as I said. And I feel like the banter and I feel like the um, chemistry between the characters and all that. And, and as I said before, the her uh, quirkiness and her, and her little pluckiness 
in the opening I thought was cute and kind of endearing. And I was like, oh, whatever, These, this is cute. And then she's out there and she's dancing around while she's putting up the signs and changing things out that she's supposed to be doing. And I'm like, oh, people are just harping on this for no reason. This is going to be a fun film, whatever. I, I was in it, you know? And then she just starts making idiotic decision after idiotic decision her character is alone for almost the rest of the movie and it's not compelling it's not interesting there's this other character that comes into play for like a couple minutes and that all is built off of tension right because this is a horror movie front and center and no tension is created the jump scares are not earned at all i mean just terrible and it's like somebody comes out and loud music and oh the girl jumps back and it's supposed to startle you to it is the cheapest shit ever that is zero talent i wish that horror directors there ain't fucking horror directors these kinds of jump scares are not earned you have to build tension through atmosphere or great buildup, and you have to do that first by making us give a shit about the character that is essentially going to be in peril for the rest of the film. You don't do that, and all you do is just make a loud noise, and someone jumps, that is bullshit. Even if the most startly person on Earth, startly? Is that a word? Probably not. But what are the most easily startle, startleable? <laughs> I'm not gonna pull this word off. Fuck. Somebody who startles easy. That one works. Even if they jump, that doesn't fucking matter. I've said this a million times with jump scares. And I talk to people all the time. They're like, oh, I went to this movie. And oh, I didn't jump once. I, it wasn't scary. Jumping isn't being scared. Okay? If I threw something at your head and your body's natural reaction was to duck out of the way. And you turned around and you saw the ball and you... <gasps> That's startling somebody. That's not scaring somebody. Huge difference. Okay, gorillas, gorillas. Huge difference. It's not fucking talent. It is not good directing, filmmaking. It pisses me off every single time. Every single time I see it in a movie. When it's not earned, when it's cheap. And people are like, and then it's because people reward it. It's, that's what it is, I think, that irritates me the most. They'll go to these movies and they'll get their quick little cheap jump scares and they'll come out and they'll be like, oh, it was so scary. And I'm like, really? Because when you went home, I guarantee you, five minutes later, you weren't even thinking about the fucking movie. That is not scary. Okay, that's startling. Huge difference. Anyways, this movie is filled, no, I shouldn't say filled. There's probably like five of them and every one of them sucks. The character sucks. The setup sucks. The atmosphere is non-existent. The, the fight sequence between her and the bear, sorry for spoilers, I don't give a shit, is horrid. It is horrid. <laughs> okay, so this is just a bad movie. And that's a bummer because I really wanted to like it in the opening. I thought everything was working and flowing pretty well. And then it's just bad decision after stupid decision after, you know, pointless set up and and lame jump scares and blah 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 I sound like I'm whining and bitching but fuck I don't know the film's like and then they do like this twist ending that is so dumb it is so yet again something that is not earned at all not at all because <laughs> you look at it and you're like really and it goes back to a text that she got earlier in the movie that's like one second of the film and they don't pay attention to it like at all oh man like when it happened at the end i was like that's what they're saying that's what they're going with and it's funny because in the on the poster and the reason i said the bear thing is because on the poster she's being attacked or intimidated by a bear so it's very obvious that's where it was that's where it was going. And I was hoping it was going to go in the route of something like Backcountry. You know, there's been a few bear attack movies recently. In fact, I actually wore uh, my Jaws shirt in preparation for a Killer Animals video, but it is way too cold out here, so I had to throw on a sweater. Anyways, but I've seen a few Killer Bear movies, and I thought, oh, cool, Killer Bear movie. 
that's on the poster. That's got to be what it is. And that's not a fault of the film because the film is presented how it is and the marketing is something completely different. And uh, there's been plenty of films that have been hurt by bad marketing. And this is a survive the elements kind of film. But what it turns out into at the end is an eye roll at best because it doesn't earn it. Nothing is earned in this movie. Anyways, all right, I'm re being repetitive at this point. So this is one I should have listened. And the people, the people in the comments were like, told you. Really? So then what did you tell me? When I watched this other movie that you all hated that I loved. What about then? You know, so that's the dilemma, right? That's the dilemma. You, it's like you've got to just sacrifice your time, bite the bullet, and go in. Unless it's Death House, which then you should never watch that. I keep bringing it up enough, people are going to start watching it just to see what I'm talking about. And I get it. I get that notion. I get that desire. But please, please just... Don't do it. Just don't do it. People are going to start thinking I'm a death house shill. They're like, they're, they're going to start thinking that I'm, I'm trying to talk people into watching it. Even this and even that and even that and even that. Sound like I'm fucking trying to get you to watch it. God damn that movie. It, it, it ruined me. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. That I've ever seen. I've seen Ed Wood movies. I've seen Yule Bull movies. I've seen it all. And Death House is the worst. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know how I got onto Death House. This is nowhere near as bad as Death House. This is a fucking masterpiece compared to Death House. But <sighs> fucking Death House, man. Anyways, all right, guys, don't watch this.